You may be seated. As you're seated, one truth gripped my heart as I read this over and over. In fact, uh, riding on the plane, I listened over and over to this passage of Scripture and then to the Psalms. And I'd listen to the passage and listen to the Psalms. And, and just over and over, I could hear David's heart. And what I saw were two things. First of all, David learned a ministry key. These four verses show us the key to how to minister in a difficult world. David found and wrote down how God helped him to minister to three groups of people. If if you notice the description of them in verse 2, they were in distress. They were desperate people. The group who came to live and work around him were representative of the culture around us. These were desperate people. Uh, And and he learned how how to help those who were drowned in debt. The headlines this week of the newspaper said that MasterCard recorded that more people, MasterCard and Visa, more people were late or delinquent or didn't pay their bills this month than any month in recorded credit card history. And they attributed it to the higher gas prices because people can't afford the gas, and so they're charging it. And when their charge bill came, they didn't have enough money to pay it. I thought, how interesting. We're living in a time when people all around us are experiencing waves of debt. So David was going through this time. People were drowned in debt. They were discontented with life. They were distressed. And David was able to minister to them. So that's that's the first thing. You might say, I'm going to learn this 57th Psalm so I can know how to minister to people that that are troubled around me. But that's not all David learned. Secondly, not just a ministry key, David learned something personally about his own life. Now let me remind you the delicate nature of David as he went into this cave. David had just come off of a time of his emotions uh, just being bottomed out. His, His whole life was just, remember, he was face down in the mud. And David also learned a second secret, not just how to minister to others, but how to get his own life and emotions detached from this situation so he didn't get dragged down by the people around him. A lot of times some of God's greatest servants get paralyzed, not by their own personal problems, but because the people around them drag them down. And so the 57th Psalm also tells us how to personally endure caves of trouble, not just to minister to the people around us, but how we get through it ourselves. They were a very needy group, and in their need they invaded the life of David, who had just come out of the pits. But David who could have just relapsed right into his despair and abandonment, realized that his heart could be fixed. In fact, that's the key, Psalm 57, 7. He says, my heart is fixed on you. I'm not going to go back. Well, let's go to this place and let me describe to you. I I told you, first of all, in verse 2, the people in distress, and the word used for distress in the Old Testament is for people being at the end of their rope and feeling that death was knocking on their door. That's what kind of people David was living with. It's an unusually hopeless condition that these people were in, and that's how they came to him.